I'm actually originally from the north of England, from Newcastle, and lived there with my family till 18, went to university in Manchester, worked for a few years in Manchester, and then got a job overseas in the Netherlands. And that actually started a long period of 35 years working for a big multinational American company where I lived abroad. So I'm in some ways moved back to Egham four years ago as a bit of a foreigner trying to learn the English way of doing things um, and actually found it remarkably welcoming because I think we were a bit, we're being from the north, you hear about southern folk aren't so welcoming, but still remember the first day at St John's where a couple came up and spoke to Sandra and I and kind of explained how to get up to communion without looking stupid and were very welcoming and you know been really happy here ever since. So I was fortunate, I would say I was brought up in a, a Christian family. Um, my parents are both Methodists and so I kind of went to, to the age of 18 as a Methodist and, and even my early marriage days. Um, and, and so I made my own commitment obviously as a teenager and went through youth groups and, and really valued that as a, as a sounding, a starting point. And then just had a journey of fairly unremarkable things I guess I would say, but felt involved in church life and that's given me some challenges to my faith as well. Um, being the treasurer, which is my current role, um, you get this very practical challenge of, of faith in, in terms of money. Um, you know, a lot of people have a lot of focus on, on prayer and, and more spiritual aspects of, of, of the Christian life. But to me, there's a, a lot about how God does seem to provide money at the times when uh, you, you may least expect it. And, and that really makes you sit up and think, oh, wow, you know, there's something going on here which is beyond my pay grade. I just have to take in faith. I mean, I, I think I see it very much as the church on, on the high street, albeit at the end of it, being part of the community um, as a real symbol of hope. Of the community and, and presence and, and someone some place where people should be able to come and feel welcome not challenged in terms of threatened or, or felt they're not worthy because none of us are, are really worthy um, and so yeah I think we've got to be there to welcome them in and show them a, a, a God who cares for them and our job is also as, as Christians to care for God's world and all the environmental stuff you know I get frustrated when people say oh, we've got to care for the planet because it's about our future generations. I actually, I'm tougher and I say it knowing that it sounds very sort of pompous in a way, but it's God's creation and our duty should be to do it because it's God's creation, not because of some self-interest. We all do everything out of self-interest, we're humans and I'm the same, but yeah, when it comes to the environment and, and how we use our our resources, it should be about you know, what does God want? And I'm not very religious in terms, of, I don't like religious language a lot, but I think there's times when it's, it's really important to, to think about that.